First up was a showdown with the Cowboys of Wyoming. Though not at high noon, the stakes were high. A national TV audience and the third largest crowd in Neyland Stadium history watched to see how the defending national champions would perform under the scrutiny the Sears Trophy brings. Now you hear the crowd roar. They stand to their feet. The pride of the Southland band has formed the giant tee. And the magic moment in football in Tennessee. Here come the volunteers. Tennessee takes the field. And the crowd cheers the defending national champions. That is over. And now tonight, Tennessee starts the repeat as they go up against the Wyoming Cowboys. One item of most concern to fans was the progress of Jamal Lewis in his bid to return from a season-ending knee injury. Lewis watched his teammates win a national championship from the Tennessee sideline, and 1999 would be his turn to shine. It didn't take long to realize number 31 was back. Jamal Lewis, the standing tailback, he'll get the ball right up the middle, finds a hole. Lewis to the 15, breaks a tackle, five, touchdown! Jamal Lewis right up the middle. 25 yards and Tennessee scores the first touchdown of this 1999 season. Who else? Jamal Lewis, the workhorse. Lewis's return was not nearly as surprising as the score in the first half. The Cowboys came out with guns a blazing to take the lead over the Volunteers 10 to 7. Long and let's see, did he get it on the right direction? He did. It wouldn't take long for the big orange machine to rev up to full speed. Football is a game of 60 minutes, but it was a span of 12 minutes and 28 seconds that told the story of this game. Clicking on all cylinders, the balls rolled up 28 unanswered points while giving up only five yards. For Jamal Lewis, the tailback. Martin fakes, fires long, left side, got a man out there. Cedric Wilson in stride, touchdown Tennessee. What a pass by T. Martin. T. Martin was sharp, throwing a pair of touchdown passes to Cedric Wilson. On the night, Martin was 14 of 21 for 264 yards. At the 32-yard line of Wyoming. Handoff, Jamal Lewis right up the middle. Breaks a tackle into the secondary. Right it over, Cowboys. Lewis to score. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jamal Lewis followed up his first TD of the year with numbers two and three. Before the night was over, he would run for 159 yards on 25 carries. Picking up where they left off in 98, the defense was totally dominant. In addition to holding Wyoming to 203 yards in total offense, John Chavis's charges recorded a Tennessee single game record 13 sacks in the game. Wide receivers, no running back. Swanson pressure. He's down again. Inside the five, D'Angelo Lloyd. Sean Ellis and Will Overstreet got to the quarterback three times each. The D even added to the score with Eric Westmoreland's alert play. And now a fumble. It's loose. It's picked up. Eric Westmoreland is going to run it in for a touchdown. Eric Westmoreland scores. And now Swanson rolls right, being chased again. Tries to find some time to throw it. Can't. Sack back at the 23-yard line. Second, third down now in long. Swanson bobbles another snap. Will Overstreet chases. And then he's sacked from behind. Swanson pressured and sacked. Back at the 45 yard As line. As if the defensive onslaught hadn't ended all hope for the Cowboys, Deion Grant's fourth quarter interception gave the Vols another scoring opportunity. First, Martin got the Vols out of trouble by going deep. From there, David Martin showed the promise coaches had been looking for with this athletic grab. All that was left was for Lewis to plunge in for his third TD and his 159th yard. Overall, Philip Fulmer knew there was work to do, but he had to be pleased. He knew, however, that the enjoyment of this victory couldn't last. There were reptiles on the horizon, and Tennessee was headed for the swamp. The Volunteers and the Gators have been the two dominant teams in the SEC during the decade of the 90s. Between them, eight SEC titles, two national championships, and plenty of bad blood. The Gators got on the scoreboard first. After an exchange of punts, Jeff Chandler connected on a 23-yard field goal to give Florida a three-point lead. Draw first blood with 7.40 to go in this first quarter. The Gators have a 3-0 lead against Tennessee. 
This annual get-together is always a knockdown drag-out, and 1999's contest was no different. In a valiant effort that won't soon be forgotten, Tennessee quarterback T. Martin played despite a separated shoulder and profuse bleeding caused when he was shoved into a sideline camera. But Martin wasn't the only one playing through pain on this night. Senior center Spencer Riley broke a bone in his right hand, but the gritty co-captain wouldn't even consider coming out of this game. Chandler's field goal was the only score of the first quarter. Tennessee's defense kept the Gators off balance. The Volunteers gave the offense a chance when Dominique Stevenson forced this fumble as he hit Florida receiver Darrell Jackson. Andre Lott recovered at the Florida 33. Tennessee's offense cashed in on the turnover. Jamal Lewis ran right at the Gator defense. T. Martin hit Eric Parker for 21 yards on a key third and 22. After a timeout to decide whether to tie or take the lead, T. Martin took the lead. Under center. Six inches, all they need. Martin, hands off. No, he fakes it. Keeps it rolling right. He's at the 10, at the 5, to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, T. Martin. Touchdown, Tennessee. Everybody in the house looking for Jamal Lewis, and Martin took it and ran it in. We said Coach Fulmer earns his money on these kind of calls. He and Randy Sanders made a marvelous call, fooled everybody in the park. Tennessee led for the first time, 7-3. to three. The Gators charged right back, but the Tennessee defense would not relent. Despite taking possession at the 44 and moving to a first down at the 14, the defense held the Gators to a field goal and kept the lead 7-6. While Tennessee searched for offensive firepower, Florida's Jeff Chandler knocked through his third field goal of the game with four minutes to play in the half. After a volunteer punt gave Florida possession at the 31-yard line, quarterback Doug Johnson engineered another quick drive and took the lead 16-7. The momentum stayed with the Gators to start the second half. The Gators were up 23-7, but there was plenty of time for volunteer heroics. On the night, Tennessee forced five Florida turnovers. Tennessee had the ball at the Florida 15. Martin hit Cedric Wilson for 14 yards to the Gator one yard line. On first and goal, it was time for Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis, the standing tailback. He gets it, he's up, he is in. Touchdown, Jamal Lewis. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee was within striking distance now, trailing 23 to 14. Time and time again, the Tennessee defense created opportunities for the offense. On fourth and one at the Tennessee 18, Ray Knock Thompson gave the offense another chance. This time, the offense delivered. With 9.42 remaining in the game, Tennessee took over possession 97 yards from the Florida goal line. In between the three in the end zone, Martin found a new pair of dependable hands. Receiver Eric Parker proved he could be counted on in the most difficult circumstances. From the 19-yard line, Jamal Lewis became the workhorse. A 15-yard gain gave Tennessee a first and goal at the four, and again it was Lewis. Pitch back left, Jamal Lewis running for the end zone. Jamal Lewis hurdles, is he in? Yes! Touchdown, Jamal Lewis! Touchdown, Tennessee! It was one of the great drives in Tennessee history. 12 plays and 97 yards in just four minutes and 32 seconds. Tennessee closed the gap to just two points with five minutes to play. Once again, the defense, led on this night by Deion Grant, gave Tennessee a chance to win. Deion Grant, his second interception of the night. With the ball in midfield and 341 on the clock. Tennessee went to Jamal Lewis, and he responded with seven yards. Lewis was literally one stride away from a game-winning dash. Suddenly, Tennessee was facing fourth and three fourth with everything three. on the line. Cedric Wilson in there, Jamal Lewis the standing tailback. Tennessee's got to get it to the 39. Martin calling out the plays, the ball on the right hash mark. Checks at the line of scrimmage. Pitch back, Jamal Lewis running left. Lewis is stopped short. Stop short at the 41-yard line. Florida held on to win 23-21. With the nation's longest winning streak stopped at 14, Tennessee would begin another streak the next week facing Memphis.
Tennessee tried to shake off the effects of its first regular season loss in September of 1997 against in-state rival Memphis. It was homecoming on the hill, and over 107,000 fans were there. Looking for an extra lift, the volunteer seniors asked head coach Philip Fulmer if they could do something that hadn't been done in over a decade. On this day, the volunteers suited up in all orange. Tennessee began the day against the Tigers trying to establish the run. Spencer Riley, who was now wearing a cast on his broken right hand, began the day snapping with his left hand. Fans may have expected offensive fireworks, but what they got was a good old-fashioned defensive struggle. In what was turning into a punting contest, it seems special teams play would have to be very special. Enter Eric First Parker. Parker in his own 31. Cuts left. Now cuts back up the middle. Finds a seam. Gets to the midfield. Stumbles again. Down the left sideline to the 40. Eric Parker to the 30. Parker's going to run in untouched. Touchdown, Eric Parker. Touchdown, Tennessee. 69 yards on the punt return. Tennessee on the scoreboard first. Tennessee led 7 to nothing, but a Tennessee turnover allowed the Tigers to connect on a 32-yard field goal. And it's plenty good. And the Tigers. In spite of a successful onside kick that gave the ball back to the Tigers, Tennessee kept Memphis from taking the lead when Mickey Allen intercepted Travis Anglin's pass into the end zone. Again, special teams lived up to its name. Intercepted in the end zone by Mickey Allen. Back to the 37-yard line is Dotson. Looks for a seam. Nobody there looking for someplace to run and finally spun down. At the 45-yard line, he fumbles the ball. Tennessee says it's got it. With the score stuck at 7-3, All-American Dwayne Goodrich came up with a play to remember. Third down Memphis pass to Dotson is going to be broken up and intercepted. Intercepted by Dwayne Goodrich. Goodrich, what a miraculous catch. In spite of Goodrich's opportunity, Tennessee could not capitalize. Tennessee led 10-3. And good. The game got really interesting when the Tigers connected on an 82-yard touchdown to tie the score at 10. On the first play of the fourth quarter, Memphis took its first lead on a 34-yard field goal. With the Volunteers giving Memphis all the help they needed, the Tiger lead increased. Suddenly, Tennessee was down by six with time running out. Quarterback T. Martin told his troops, failure is not an option. 140 to go. Martin. Under center, they blitz. Martin looks. He's got a man right at his feet, gets rid of it. Hit as he throws. Pass down toward the end zone is going to be complete. Caught by Bobby Graham down at the seven-yard line. The ball was marked at the Memphis six, but a holding penalty pushed the Volunteers back to the 15. Out of the shotgun. T. Martin steps back, fires toward the end zone. Got his man, Wilson. Touch. Touchdown, Tennessee. Cedric Wilson on the slant pattern. T. Martin right on the button, and Tennessee ties the game at 16 all with one minute to go. It wasn't pretty, but Tennessee found a way to win. With more Tigers on the horizon, the Volunteers set out to correct mistakes and get better. The Tennessee Volunteers opened a string of four straight SEC games when the Auburn Tigers came to Neyland Stadium on a crisp October night. The Tigers received the opening kickoff and started on offense from their own 20. The crowd wasn't settled in their seats before the fireworks began. Crowd stands, stops the feet. Klein back, flips it out. It's intercepted, first play. That's going to be a touchdown, Tennessee. Touchdown, Deion Grant. He picked it off. 17 yards, read it perfectly, and Tennessee is on the scoreboard. 14, wow. 14 seconds into the game, Tennessee led 7 to nothing. Auburn's freshman quarterback Jeff Klein was making his first start. Klein subbing for the injured Ben Laird. Tennessee's defense made things difficult for the rookie quarterback. Still leading 7-0, Tennessee got the ball on its own 31 with 10 and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Senior quarterback T. Martin, mixing plays brilliantly, marched Tennessee right down the field against Auburn's highly regarded defense. The score remains 7 to nothing, Tennessee. Auburn tried to take the ball from deep in its own territory. Freshman defensive tackle John Henderson made his presence felt in the middle. 
Two big plays for Henderson left the Tigers with a fourth and nine at the Tennessee 41. Tennessee took over at the 41. The Volunteers stormed into Tiger territory. Martin hits Eric Parker for a 20-yard gain. Tennessee moved to the Tiger 23. The drive stalled when Adlai Trone picked off Martin's pass. Tennessee's defense didn't waste time getting the ball back. Snap uh, out of the shotgun. Pass left side is going to be. That's intercepted. Tennessee's Deion Grant. The first quarter ended with Tennessee holding on the lead 7 to nothing. Auburn's pattern in the first half was to move the ball into Tennessee territory only to see the Volunteers come up with a big play. Enter Deion Grant for the third time in the first half. Looks, fires on the slant, off the hands of his receiver, and it's intercepted by Deion Grant, his third of the night. Grant down the sideline and steps out of bounds. Got a... The 28-yard return gave Tennessee possession at the Auburn 48 with 326 left in the first half. Martin looking, firing long right side, got his man Cedric Wilson down to the Auburn 25. Martin then found Bobby Graham for 12 to the Auburn 13. Time was becoming a factor. With under a minute to go, Martin found Cedric Wilson for nine more to the Auburn five. On a fourth and two, Tennessee went for the points before the half and sent out place kicker Alex Walls. Right through there. All right, Mr. Tennessee led at halftime over the Tigers 10 to nothing. Starting the second half, Tennessee came out determined to run the ball. After gaining only 35 yards against the Tigers in the first half on the ground, Tennessee came out banging away at the Tigers' defensive second front. Second down, 10 yards to go. Pitch right this time. Lewis looking for somewhere to go. Finds a seam, cuts it in the middle, breaks a tackle down to the 21-yard line. Tough. With the Tigers now geared up to stop the run, Tennessee threw the ball to Lewis. To the 20, Lewis to the 10. Lewis dragged down at the seven yard line. Then Travis Henry got the call. Second and goal, handoff, Henry pushes it. T touchdown, Travis Henry, touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee led 17 zip after three quarters. Tennessee's defense kept the Tigers pinned up and forced a punt. Tennessee got the ball at the Auburn 45 and again went with Travis Henry. Against a tired Tiger defense, Tennessee rammed the ball against Auburn. Henry picked up 11 on first down. On second and 10, Henry found running room. Handoff Henry up the middle. Gets a block from Coleman. Breaks it to the 20, to the 15. Travis Henry scores for Tennessee. The drive was 45 yards on three plays. All carries by Travis Henry, capped off by his second TD of the day. The score was now 24-0 Tennessee. Auburn tried to avoid its first shutout at the hands of Tennessee since a 42-0 whitewash in 1980. However, Willie Miles put an end to the Tiger offense for the night, intercepting his first pass as a volunteer to end the Tigers' chances of scoring. Tennessee went about the business of running out the clock featuring Ontario Smith. The freshman running back from California showed promise carrying the ball six straight times. He didn't get in the end zone, but did gain 30 yards in his first action in the Tennessee backfield. Tennessee got the shutout 24 zip over the Tigers to improve to three and one on the season. For his efforts, Deion Grant was named as the SEC Defensive Player of the Week for his three interceptions, eight tackles and one touchdown. The Volunteers got their first SEC win of the season and then turned their attention toward undefeated Georgia. The next challenge for Tennessee was Georgia. On a rainy night in Knoxville, the Bulldogs entered Neyland Stadium sporting a 4-0 record. Tennessee was determined to tighten the race in the SEC. A victory over Georgia would not only get the Vols one step closer to an SEC title, but would extend the winning streak over the Bulldogs to nine. Georgia brought the SEC's best rushing offense and the ever dangerous Quincy Carter, but Tennessee was ready with what was proving to be the premier defense in the country. Balance on offense. It's a Tennessee trademark, and from the first possession, T. Martin dished out equal portions of run and pass. Jamal Lewis got the first helping, and Eric Parker was next. Two plays later, 
T. Martin found himself looking at a third and goal situation. Martin and the shotgun gets the snap. Quarterback draw. T. Martin to the end zone. Touchdown, T. Martin. Touchdown, Tennessee. Momentum was already on Tennessee's side. The Vols were up 7-0 thanks to a nine-play 63-yard drive. Still in the first quarter, the talented Quincy Carter answered with nifty runs and a 27-yard strike to Terrence Edwards. The score was tied 7-7 at the end of the opening quarter. If you were one of the 107,000 rain-soaked fans in attendance, you might have been nervous, but with T. Martin at the controls, there was no need for nail-biting. That is, unless you were Georgia's defensive coordinator, Kevin Ramsey. Martin kept Ramsey guessing all night, especially on runs like this that put the ball at the nine-yard line. To the 15, to the 10, slides down at the eight-yard line. Ten. But Martin wasn't Ramsey's only concern. There was also a six-foot, 225-pound tailback wearing orange. T. Martin in the shotgun right in the middle of the field. Two-step drop, blitz on, flips it out, screen pass. Jamal Lewis gets to the five, touchdown, Jamal Lewis, touchdown, Tennessee. Perfect call against the blitz. Lewis rolls in for the score. There Martin directed a brilliant drive with 11 plays and 82 yards. Tennessee led 14 to seven. The Tennessee defense would not let the momentum get away. After the Bulldogs went three and out, the volunteers were back in business. Starting from its own 35, T. Martin let his arm do the work. First, he threw a dart to his favorite target, Cedric Wilson. Then he found another reliable pair of hands. Dante Stallworth reeled in this 44-yard gain, and Tennessee was inside the Georgia 10 one more time. On second and goal, with everybody looking for Jamal Lewis, T. Martin crossed up the dogs. Hand off, no fake. Martin rolls right, tries to get to the corner, to the five. Martin to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, T. Martin. Touchdown, Tennessee. Neil Johnson got out in front, threw the block that sprung Martin for the touchdown. And the extra point made it 21-7, and the Vols were in control. Georgia was desperate to make something happen. It did, but it wasn't what Georgia coach Jim Donnan had in mind. Sean Ellis sacked Quincy Carter, and the Bulldogs' scoring opportunity was over for the first half. The Volunteers, however, were not through. Tennessee worked the clock to perfection and took advantage of the Georgia rush. The best remedy for a hard-charging defense is the screen pass, and that's just what offensive coordinator Randy Sanders called. Martin. Screen pass, left side complete to all Lewis. Got running room to midfield. Lewis into Georgia territory, run out of bounds at the 41 yard line. Once the Vols were in scoring territory, Jamal Lewis got the call and rambled to the two. From there, it was tea time for the third time. Tennessee put together the best half of football it had played all season. There was another half to play, but this game was over. The score at intermission was Tennessee 28, Georgia 7. In the third quarter, Tennessee's defense scored first. Georgia was punting from its own end zone. Cop punting from his own end zone, bobbles the ball. It's loose. He falls on it in the end zone. It's a safety. It's lucky it wasn't a touchdown. The snap was the very The safety high. was the only scoring in the quarter. Heading into the fourth, Tennessee led 30 to seven. Busted outside. Henry gets to the 20. Henry to the 25. Things tighten some in the fourth quarter. Georgia scored to open the final 15 minutes of the game to make the score 30 to 13. And after a miscue on offense, Georgia capitalized to get the score even closer with 12 minutes to play. Tennessee needed something or somebody to seize the momentum. That somebody was freshman Leonard Scott and the something was a kickoff return to be remembered. High end over end, Scott at the goal line, gonna take it on the right hash to the 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, breaks it into the open, to the 40, to midfield, not ever catching. Leonard Scott goes all the way. Touchdown, Leonard Scott. Touchdown, Tennessee. 99 yards for the sprinter. That sealed the outcome. Tennessee led 37 to 20. They run the option, look for the Utah pass, not there, and Will Overstreet drops him back at the 20-yard line. Rolls out right. 
Looking long, and he's going to be sacked from behind. Tennessee held the top rushing team in the SEC to only 54 yards and moved into a first-place tie the atop the SEC. Tennessee wins against the Dogs, 37-20. After the Georgia victory, Tennessee had two weeks to get ready for a trip to Tuscaloosa to face 10th ranked Alabama. The tide was on a roll after having won three straight games against ranked teams. Alabama also had Tennessee on its home turf for the first time since 1930. The Volunteers were riding a four game winning streak over the Crimson Tide, but Tennessee had never beaten Alabama five games in a row. On a beautiful day for football, the largest crowd in Alabama history expected to see Heisman Trophy candidate Sean Alexander become a front runner for the award. But Tennessee's defense would send him to the back of the pack. Tennessee had not allowed a rushing touchdown all season. Also, no running back had gained over 100 yards against the Vol D. Alexander was averaging over 150 yards per game. Something would have to give. In a scoreless game, punter David Leverton became a key factor in the first quarter. High, wobbly kick. Millen's going to let it bounce at the five-yard line and out of bounds at the one. It took a Tennessee left forced Alabama to punt when the drive stalled at the 26, but an offsides call gave the ball back to the tide. Alabama finished the drive in the second quarter with a strike to Alexander. The teams traded punts in the second quarter until the Tennessee offense got on track. Running the ball was the key as the Tennessee offensive line started to establish some rhythm. Travis Henry pounded away at the Crimson Front. The drive hit a critical spot at fourth and one at the Alabama nine. Head coach Philip Fulmer wasn't interested in three points. Jumbo formation, two fullbacks. Lewis the tailback. Handoff. Jamal Lewis over the top. I think he got it. The leap from Lewis kept the drive alive, and on second and goal from the six, T. Martin tied the score. Man in motion, handoff, no fake. T. Martin rolls left, racing for the end zone. T. Martin in, touchdown, T. Martin, touchdown, Tennessee. Neil Tennessee drove 60 yards and 11 plays. Alabama tried to answer the Tennessee score. Quarterback Andrew Zhao had the tide on the move. However, Zhao suffered a sprained ankle and had to leave the game, giving way to Tyler Watts. The Tennessee defense didn't care who was under center. Either way, the Tennessee offense was getting the ball back. Watts pressured, sacked, back at the 40-yard line. When T. Martin tied the score in the previous series, he took a shot to the knee. At first, the injury didn't seem serious, but suddenly Martin could not play. Joey Matthews came in on relief and finished the half. The teams left the field tied at seven, and fans of both teams wondered if their quarterbacks would be able to return. The third quarter was signaled by a sigh of relief from Tennessee fans. T. Martin from Mobile, Alabama was not going to sit this one out. While Alabama struggled on offense with its backup quarterback, Martin loosened up his leg on a stationary bike. With the first offensive possession of the second half starting on the Volunteer 43, T. Martin returned to the gridiron. Martin's return pumped life into the Tennessee attack. Jamal Lewis went for 16 yards on a draw play to the Alabama 43. Then T. Martin came up with another beauty. Martin fakes the handoff, looking long left side, fires long for the end zone. Got his man, he's got a touchdown. Touchdown Tennessee. The pass complete to David Martin. Got behind the Alabama secondary and T. Martin. How does he do it? An amazing football player up off the trainer's table, comes in, throws the bomb, and what a big play for David Martin at Tennessee. Tennessee took the lead for the first time. The score was 14 to seven. The volunteer defense began to take over, but there was one moment of fear. With an entire quarter to play, Tennessee found itself backed up on third and 14. A big play was needed, and that's what T. Martin delivered. 
T. Martin drops back, looking right. He's going to tuck it, going to run. He gets to the 20, dives out across the 25, close to the 27-yard line. He's going to be short Tennessee of then began mixing the run and pass to march the ball into Alabama territory. Cedric Wilson, the leading receiver in the SEC, had been quiet all day until Martin found him on a second and 23. Under center, drops back, blitzes on, screen pass set up. Cedric Wilson breaks it down the right sideline to the 40, to the Alabama 30, and he's run out of bounds by Tony Dixon. What a great call again by T. Martin. Great call by Randy Sanders. Everybody's lined up wide left. They had one receiver right all day. They've thrown left out of that. This time they throw right and break it with a great On block. second and eight, it was time once again for a warrior named T. Handoff, nope, fake. T. Martin rolls right, he's got room to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Touchdown, T. Martin, touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee led 21 to seven. T. Martin had scored his second rushing touchdown to go along with his TD strike to David Martin. For the second time, T. Martin was honored as the SEC Offensive Player of the Week. More importantly, Tennessee beat Alabama 21-7 to move to 5-1 on the season. It was the fifth straight win over Alabama. It was something no Tennessee team had ever been able to achieve in the 82-year history of this great rivalry. The month of October was the heart of Tennessee's SEC schedule. South Carolina was the fourth conference opponent Tennessee faced in the month. Tennessee came in ranked fourth in the nation. South Carolina, under first-year coach Lou Holtz, was riding the nation's longest losing streak, 18 straight. The Vols took the opening kickoff and tried to hit the Gamecocks early. The Volunteers hit the ground running against the nation's ninth-ranked defense. Jamal Lewis led the charge as Tennessee moved crisply downfield. On second and eight from the South Carolina 24, T. Martin spotted a newcomer. T. Martin drops back, here's the blitz, slip screen, good. Ontario Smith, Ontario Smith breaks a tackle to the 10, cuts it back, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Ontario Smith, touchdown, Tennessee. The opening drive went 63 yards in six plays. South Carolina's season was going from bad to worse, and Tennessee tried to make their offensive struggles continue. Work. Goodman took about two steps and then whammo, blasted by John Henderson. The first quarter ended with Tennessee leading seven to nothing. On Tennessee's first possession in the second quarter, Jamal Lewis extended the lead. Hand off Jamal Lewis right up the middle, breaks it. Arturo Freeman can't get it. He's to midfield, cuts it back to the 40. Jamal Lewis to the 30, breaks a tackle to the 10, five. Touchdown, Jamal Lewis. Touchdown, Tennessee. 70 yards right up the middle. Jamal Lewis takes it, and Tennessee leads it 13 to nothing. The run put Jamal Lewis over 100 yards for the day. It was the 13th time in his career he rushed for over 100 yards in a game. That tied Jay Graham for the most 100-yard games in Tennessee history. The Tennessee defense continued to make things tough on Carolina. The Gamecocks went to a ball control offense using the old T formation. In spite of using the power formation, South Carolina could not mount a sustained drive. Tennessee tacked on points late in the second quarter. Freshman kicker Alex Walls hit from 33 yards and Tennessee led 17 zip. The Volunteers continued to thwart the Gamecock offense and Tennessee got the ball back with 2.36 remaining in the half. With first and 10 from its own nine, Tennessee began running the two minute drill. Jamal Lewis rambled for 18 yards on a crucial third down draw play. The play added to his impressive first half total. He ran for 141 yards in just two quarters. Freshman Leonard Scott made two key catches to keep the drive alive. His second grab put Tennessee at the South Carolina 48 with 32 seconds remaining. Another screen pass to Lewis was good for 13 and Tennessee had worked the ball down to the South Carolina 30. With eight seconds left in the half, Philip Fulmer turned again to the freshman and put Carolina's back against the wall. Tennessee was in control and leading at halftime 20 to nothing. 
South Carolina knew its best defense was to keep the ball away from Tennessee. In the third quarter, they did just that. The Volunteers had only 11 offensive plays in 15 minutes of football, but the 11th was good for three points. Snap down, kick high. Looks like it's going left. Did it get through there? It's good. Walls had accounted for nine consecutive points. Going into the fourth quarter, Tennessee led 23 to nothing. The Vols needed a knockout punch in the fourth quarter. What they got was more like a standing eight count, but it proved just as effective. T. Martin in the shotgun formation. Quick step, he gets the screen pass to Dante Stallworth. Stallworth gets a block, Stallworth to midfield, Stallworth at the 40, cuts on the right side, gets another block, Stallworth at the 20, Stallworth at the 10, Stallworth running for the right side end zone, he is down to the one yard line. From there, Philip Crosby was able to pound it in for his first touchdown of the season, and Tennessee led 30 0. The Gamecocks did score a late touchdown against Tennessee's reserves to avoid a shutout. Tennessee won the game 30 to 7 and ran its Neyland Stadium winning streak to 20 games. Tennessee's SEC home winning streak increased to 13. Tennessee began the month of November with a non-conference game against Notre Dame. It was the fifth time these tradition-rich football powers collided. Notre Dame's last visit to Neyland Stadium was in 1990. The series was even at two and two as Notre Dame returned to Knoxville on a glorious electric November night. Both teams were riding a wave of momentum. Tennessee was sporting a five game winning streak and Notre Dame four. The setting was perfect. Over 107,000 fans packed Neyland Stadium. It was the second largest crowd in UT history. It's Tennessee and Notre Dame from Neyland Stadium. Get ready for the kickoff. Notre Dame received the opening kickoff and moved for a first down on its initial drive. Dangerous quarterback Jarius Jackson had a first down at the Tennessee 46 on the fourth play of the game. Over the middle of the ball, deflected and intercepted. It's intercepted by Raynock Thompson, running down the right sideline. He's to the 20, right out of bounds at the 12-yard line. The ball was The Thompson deflected. interception gave Tennessee a first and 10 at the Notre Dame 14. The Notre Dame defense was up to the challenge, and Tennessee settled for a field goal attempt by Alex Walls. South Carolina. This one a 25-yard attempt. The kick is up and good. Alex Tennessee Wall struck first with the 3-0 lead. The Volunteers' defense knew it was facing a stiff challenge going against Jackson, a veteran quarterback who ran the option with exceptional skill. Tennessee's ploy was to defend with different fronts, stunts and blitzes. Sean Ellis and Will Overstreet were the keys to making life tough for Jackson in the first quarter. Both teams missed field goal opportunities in the first quarter, and Tennessee led three to nothing after the first stanza. The second quarter opened with Tennessee on the march. T. Martin mixed the run with screen passes to keep Notre Dame's defense off balance. Tennessee had the ball first and 10 at the Notre Dame 21 when Dante Stallworth found a crack in the Notre Dame secondary. Straight drop on the step, looks, fires into the end zone, got his man, touchdown, Dante Stallworth, touchdown Tennessee, they ran the flag pattern, Dante Stallworth cut to the middle, went right to the flag in the corner, and T. Martin right on target, Tennessee leads it nine to nothing. It was a brilliant 12 play 80 yard drive and Tennessee led 10 to nothing. Notre Dame answered the Tennessee score with a 14 play drive of its own. David Givens scored and it was the first rushing touchdown allowed by the Tennessee defense all season. It was 10 to 7 Tennessee with 316 left to go in the half. With receivers David Martin and Cedric Wilson both out of the game with injuries, T. Martin turned to the next generation of wide receivers to get the offense going. Dante Stallworth, Bobby Graham, and Bernie Vesey had key catches to keep Tennessee's two-minute drill going. The Volunteers had first and goal at the Notre Dame two, 
But with no timeouts and the clock working against the Vols, T. Martin looked to the First checkerboard. Tennessee. Martin rolls right, looking into the end zone. Martin still has it. Fires. Got his man. Touchdown, Tennessee. Eric Parker hangs on to get the T. score. T. Martin used the clock to perfection. 12 plays covered 81 yards in 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Tennessee led 17 to 7 as the first half ended. The third quarter opened with both teams exchanging punts. Eric Parker returned this Notre Dame kick 20 yards to give Tennessee excellent field position on the Volunteers' second possession in the second half. On third and 14 at the Notre Dame 43, Tennessee went airborne. Out of the shotgun, Martin looks. Going to load it up and fire long for the end zone. To the end zone with a checkerboard. Did he get his man? Touchdown! Touchdown, Leonard Scott! Right in the back corner of the end zone. T. Martin threw that ball. 65 yards in the air. Somehow, Leonard Scott stayed in the back of the end zone. Right at the pile on. What a throw. What a catch by Leonard Scott. And Tennessee leads 23-7. It was Leonard Scott's first receiving touchdown in his UT career. After butting heads with Tennessee's rock solid defense, the Irish tried to catch Tennessee off guard on a fourth down punt. Tennessee, I guess right now is saying, watch the fake, watch the fake. Remember Notre Dame, and here it comes. They pitch it back on the fake, and that's not gonna work. Fred White played his game of the year against Notre Dame. The senior led Tennessee in tackles and was a key factor in shutting down the Irish. Defense was the name of the game throughout the third quarter. With 3-12 remaining, Tennessee got the ball back after another brilliant Eric Parker punt return. The 22-yard return gave Tennessee a first and 10 at the Notre Dame 40. Travis Henry did the rest. Henry gets the handoff, breaks it up the middle, to the 30, to the 20, Travis Henry to the 10, 5, touchdown Travis Henry, touchdown Tennessee, 40 yards, is that the knockout punch? Tennessee leads it 30 to 7 over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Tennessee led 31 to 7. Notre Dame was able to answer the Tennessee score. On an end around, Joey Getherall dove for the end zone. He came up just short, but not in the official's eye. The touchdown call gave the Irish some momentum heading to the fourth quarter and cut the Tennessee lead 17 points. The fourth quarter belonged to the Big Orange offensive line. Dominating a tired Notre Dame defense, Tennessee crushed the Irish. Travis Henry did the bulk of the damage. On the night, Henry rushed for 132 yards. Time and again, Henry pounded the Notre Dame front. The drive started with 12.02 left on the fourth quarter clock. Tennessee ran more than nine minutes off the clock when it was faced with a fourth and one at the Notre Dame 14-yard line. Fourth and one. T. Martin fakes the handoff, bootleg wide open to the 10. T. Martin cuts it back. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, T. Martin. Touchdown, Tennessee. They T. Martin was the catalyst for the Big Orange attack. He threw three touchdowns, ran for one, and improved his career record to 20 and one as Tennessee's starting quarterback. Tennessee finished off the Irish by winning 38-14. The November record stood at 54 and two since 1985. Drops back, looks, has time, fires over the middle, almost intercepted, it is on the deflection. Tennessee picks it off, Mickey Allen. His and ladies and gentlemen, wherever you're listening, it is football time in Tennessee. Leverton's kick is high and long into the end zone. It will bounce there. And Arkansas received the opening kickoff. Tennessee's defense was up to the challenge, stopping the Razorbacks on three plays. Arkansas was forced to punt. The game turned on Tennessee's second offensive play. It's picked off by David Barrett. Barrett running down the right sideline to the 10. Cuts it back to the 5. Two Touch. minutes into the game, the Razorbacks led Tennessee 7 to nothing. It was no time to panic. Tennessee went right back to work. Jamal Lewis and the Volunteers' ground attack took the ensuing kickoff at the Tennessee 20 and began to move the ball. T. Martin hit Dante Stallworth on a 7-yard strike, and Tennessee had a first down at the Arkansas 39. 
Martin found Cedric Wilson for a pick of nine, and Tennessee had a first down at the Arkansas 25. This will be a 43-yard field goal from the right hash. Win at his back. Kick is high and long and low and good. The Tennessee defense was able to disrupt Clint Sterner and the Arkansas offense on the next possession. The Razorbacks were forced to punt. Tennessee opened the drive on the volunteer seven and worked the ball out to the 27. David Leverton was forced into the game to punt on a Bobbly fourth and kick, one. But get some distance on him. Morreale at his 30, drops the ball. It's loose and Tennessee's got it. Looking into the sun, Tim. Morreale looked like he lost it. And Tennessee comes up with the recovery. Constantine Ritzman. The big play on the kicking game gave Tennessee the ball back. The Volunteers took advantage of the break. Martin hit Bobby Graham down to the Razorback 17. With the aid of two Arkansas pass interference penalties, Tennessee ran off seven plays to the Arkansas 17-yard line. Two plays into the second quarter, Jamal Lewis took it in from the one, and Tennessee regained the lead 10-7. To to the left. Tennessee touchdown was the first of several in an explosive second quarter. The Razorbacks were able to move the ball. Clint Sterner capped off a seven-play drive hitting his tight end in the end zone as the Hogs got the lead by 14 to 10. Tennessee answered right back. T. Martin used his right arm to pick apart the Razorback secondary. Eric Parker made a great catch for 16 yards. On a third down play, Martin connected with Cedric Wilson for 44 yards. With the Razorbacks now set to stop the UT air game, Martin used his swift feet. Martin rolls left, looks from behind, avoids one man. Now he's open to the 10. T. Martin to the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee led 17-14. Neither team could score before the end of the half, and the Volunteers had a three-point lead at the break. Tennessee's defense gave the Volunteers a chance to open up a lead. On a third and nine from the Razorback 41, linebacker Raynock Thompson made a big play. It was Thompson's second interception in as many weeks. The Butkus Award semifinalist gave Tennessee a great opportunity to expand the lead. Tennessee cashed in on a turnover. Travis Henry went to work. Second and eight from the Arkansas 28. Pitch back left. Henry cuts it up, gets to the corner, to the 20, to the 10, to the goal line. Touchdown, Travis Henry. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee led in the game 24 to 14. The drive took only three plays in one minute and nine seconds. The Razorbacks responded in quick order. Clint Sterner used his tall wide receivers to get back into the game. This 53 yard TD strike to Boo Williams answered Tennessee's third quarter touchdown and the Razorbacks had drawn closer at 24 to 21. Yet Tennessee still had the lead in the ball in the third quarter. Tennessee had moved the ball to the Arkansas 13-yard line and looked ready to tack on more points. The Razorbacks ended the scoring opportunity, Inside knocking the, the ball free 15. and stopping the drive. Pressure. The ball knocked free. Arkansas's got it. The score Arkansas. remained 24-21 Tennessee with seven minutes and eight seconds remaining. Cedric Cobb picked his way through the Tennessee defense to give the Razorbacks a first down at the Tennessee 25. On second and eight, quarterback Clint Sterner found his favorite target in He's the end zone. He's got time. Sterner pump fakes into the end zone. Did he get it? Touchdown, Arkansas. Post pattern Tennessee to still Lucas. had time and, and timeouts to mount a comeback. T. Martin started from his own 32 and hit Eric Parker for nine. A quarterback sneak on second down netted nine yards to midfield. Martin hit Dante Stallworth for eight yards on first down. After misfires, Martin hit Stallworth on a fourth and two to, the to keep the game. drive alive. Now here it comes against Arkansas. T. Martin fires past to Dante Stallworth. Did he get a first down? He did. Down to the 36. The Volunteers line. faced another key fourth down conversion challenge. Tennessee needed a completion on fourth down to win the game. The Volunteers were now seven and two, heading to Lexington and a matchup with the Kentucky Wildcats.
Game 10 found Tennessee on the road in Lexington to face the Kentucky Wildcats. Here's the kick, and it's football time in Tennessee. Confusion on the first play. The Wildcats were hit with a delay of game penalty. Kentucky started with a first and 15. It was an advantage for Tennessee and was a hint of how things would go all afternoon for the Wildcats. With the help of the penalty, Tennessee's makeshift defense stopped Bonner the Wildcats. Throw. Fires out the right side incomplete. Anthony White can't hang on to it. Travis Henry took advantage of his first start of the season, banging away at the Kentucky defensive front. With the Wildcats ganging up to stop the run, T. Martin went over the top. Martin fakes the handoff, looks toward the end zone, fires long, Cedric Wilson, he's got it! Touchdown, Cedric Wilson! Touchdown, Tennessee! The post pattern. Wilson caught it with his fingertips. Right Showing no ill effects from the Arkansas game, Tennessee went 73 yards on the opening drive to take the lead 7 to nothing. Tennessee continued to cause problems for the Kentucky air raid attack. Andre Lott ended Kentucky's second possession with this interception. Leading 7-0, Tennessee got the ball back at its own 23. A 20-yard strike to Eric Parker moved the ball to the 43. Tennessee had a first down at the UK 40. Still six minutes and 38 seconds remained in the first quarter and Tennessee led 14-0. The Tennessee defense sent the Wildcats to the sidelines again on a three and out on their next possession. Tennessee got the ball back and tried to make it three possessions and three scores to start Bobby the game. Bobby Graham now under a wide receiver. Travis Henry up the middle, breaks it to midfield, to the 40, to the 30, trying to outrun the Wildcats, and he will do it. Tennessee had jumped all over the Cats, leading 21 zip at the end of the first quarter. Travis Henry rushed for 125 yards and two touchdowns in the first quarter alone. The Wildcats didn't keep the ball long. Intercepted by Raynock Thompson. Thompson cuts it out to the 10. Thompson to the 5 and out of bounds. He threw it right to him, right over the middle. Raynock Thompson, his third straight game with an interception. And Tennessee has the ball inside the 10. After a penalty, Tennessee took over first and 10 at the UK 26. A 15-yard throw to Cedric Wilson took the ball to the UK 13. It was time for a triple dose of Travis Steve for the Martin, Cats. Handoff. Travis Henry cuts it left. Travis to the five. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee missed the extra point, but Travis Henry had made his own point with his third TD on the day. Henry has three touchdowns. Tennessee leads 27 to nothing. Kentucky did fight back and made things interesting in the second it's quarter. Be complete to Whalen. Whalen will skip into the end zone for a touchdown. Tennessee's offense stalled and Kentucky got the ball back. Bonner again led the Cats on a scoring drive. Anthony White took a swing pass in for the score and the Wildcats had trimmed 14 off the Tennessee lead. It was 27-14 at halftime. The key for Tennessee's defense in the third quarter was to take the sting away from the Wildcats. The volunteer defense kept the Cats off the board and the Tennessee offense took over the game. Martin fakes the handoff, rolls right, dumps it, got his man, David Martin to the 10, to the five, touchdown David Martin, touchdown Tennessee. Martin rolls right. Martin wants to keep it to the five. T. Martin to the end zone. Tennessee led 35-14 with 2.45 left in the third quarter. Down at six. Flip it out. Shanklin catches it. Kentucky tried to answer the score. Bonner threw to Kendrick Shanklin. Dwayne Goodrich did a masterful job of prying the ball free. It up. They stripped it out of Shanklin's hand, and Mickey Allen came up with it. Mickey Allen was there to fall on the football for Tennessee. Tennessee had forced another turnover, and the Volunteers got the ball back. As they mark it at the 38-yard line. T. Martin tried to take advantage of the turnover. On second down, he threw long for Dante Stallworth. He made a brilliant catch just short of the goal line. T. Martin didn't throw often this day. 
he was seven for 18 for 155 yards. But he made some terrific throws when he did put it in the air. T. Martin did the honors on a quarterback sneak. Tennessee had fought off the Wildcats surge and had added two scores in the third quarter. The Wildcats continued to battle, but Tennessee would never let the Cats now get back in the game. On a fourth down call from the UT 45, Derek Edmonds comes up to make the play to stop the Wildcats. The ball went back over to the Big Orange. 42-14, T. Martin still the quarterback. Ontario Smith cuts it against the grain to the 50. Ontario Smith to the 40. They won't catch him. Smith to the 10. Freshman Touchdown, running back Ontario. Ontario Smith got into the scoring act on the very next play. Tennessee now led 49-14. D'Angelo Lloyd got into the act for the Tennessee defense. The former tight end showed off his good hands, picking off this Dusty Bonner pass. It was Tennessee's third interception of the day against Kentucky's passing attack. Tennessee later in the fourth quarter added a fourth interception when Deion Grant took this pass away from Derek Smith, Grant's seventh interception of the year. With a big lead, everybody who made the trip got a chance to play. Whalen now out. They fired over the middle. Complete. Oh, it's almost intercepted. It is picked off. Deion Grant. After the Grant interception, Matthews led Tennessee down the field for its last score of the day. Ontario Smith got most of the work and scored Tennessee's final touchdown. On the day, Smith rushed for 82 yards and scored two touchdowns. Is touchdown, Ontario Smith. Another touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee went on to beat the Wildcats 56-21. The fourth straight year Tennessee had scored more than 50 points against Kentucky. It was the 15th straight year Tennessee had defeated the Wildcats. Now the Volunteers turned their attention toward the regular season finale against Vanderbilt to go. Vander, uh, Tennessee at the 37. Henry up the middle. Breaks it to midfield. Henry breaks another tackle to the 35. To the 30. Travis Henry. Touchdown Tennessee. 63 yards. Travis Henry broke two tackles at the line of scrimmage and then he outran the Vanderbilt secondary. Tennessee leads at 9-0. Travis Henry running all over the Commodores. T. Martin on second down. Quarterback draw up the middle to the 20, to the 30, to the 40. T. Martin to midfield. Breaks a tackle, gets down to the 41-yard line. <laughs> T. Martin, unbelievable. Leonard Scott now in the wide receiver. Fake to Travis Henry. They flip it out left side. It goes to Leonard Scott. Scott races down the left sideline into the end zone. Touchdown, Leonard Scott. Touchdown, Tennessee. Vanderbilt showing blitz. Here they come. Handoff up the middle goes to Travis Henry. Breaks it to the outside to the 20, to the 30. Travis Henry to midfield. Travis Henry to the 45. Dragged down at the 36-yard line. One-yard line. T. Martin at quarterback. Will Bartholomew and Philip Crosby now on the backfield. Handoff goes to Philip Crosby for the Tennessee touchdown. It'll be a nine-yard penalty. Second down, 19 to go for the Commodores. And now the crowd starting to get back into this thing. 24 to 10. First penalty of the day for Vanderbilt. Zolman drops back. Here's the blitz. They're coming from everywhere, and they got him back at the 30. The blitz. 11.20 to go. Ontario Smith now in at tailback. Crosby shifts up to fullback. First and goal from the Vandy 8. Pitch back right. Ontario Smith tries to cut it up. Cuts it outside for the end zone. Touchdown, Ontario Smith. Touchdown, Tennessee. He did a little dodge and dance. Went inside, nothing there, popped it outside, sprinted down the right sideline, and Tennessee opens up a 30 to 10 lead with 11.07 to go in the game here at Neyland Stadium. And stop fourth quarter, 31-10, Tennessee over Vanderbilt. Now the crowd stands and cheers as they try and keep Vanderbilt from a third down conversion. Zolman, handoff, nothing there for Jared McGrath. Hit and knocked back. Four orange shirts there led by Fred White and Raynock Thompson. Tennessee, a four-man front. Here's the reverse to Hogan's. He's trapped in the backfield. Hogan's going to be slung down. Lost the football. It's still loose. Now, T. Martin leaves the field in a standing ovation. Joey Matthews comes in, and T. Martin, what a warrior he has been for Tennessee. And this is final game at Neyland Stadium. 
and everybody still stands. Handoff Ontario Smith up the middle to the 40. Ontario Smith is gone. Touchdown, Ontario Smith. Touchdown, Tennessee. Zolman back looking, fires long, left side into coverage. It's intercepted, Deion Grant. Grant makes the catch at the 40. Grant down the sideline to the 30, run about out of bounds by Hogan's. They had most of the second liners in there with the exception of Deion Grant, and that's number nine of the season. His 14th career interception. Philip Fulmer set to record his 76th victory as a head coach at Tennessee. Remarkable.